Today we are opening an $8,000 Yu-Gi-Oh package. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna be opening an $8,000 Yu-Gi-Oh package, but first we do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card that we open from here. There's a lot of awesome old school singles that you can pick. Also, if you wanna know if you wanna give away, go check out the community tab. I'll pop it up right here. All you have to do is go to my profile, click the tab up on the top right-ish, it says community, and you can see if you want all the giveaway winners are listed there up until about a week ago. Let's get into the package. First of all, we have an opened Dark Dual Stories game. So I think that the cards are in a different spot, but I think this is just like the complete in-game box, which is cool to have. I already have this, you know, you guys know why I have the complete in-game box, which is all I got for my 6,000 whatever it was dollars when I actually tried to open this before. But it's just cool to have this again. It's really nice. So now I have both the Blue Eyes version and the CRU pink guy version then we have a lot of cards here so these are commons uh from pharaoh's servant so these are we have a lot of not complete sets but near complete sets here we got mad sword beast the wing weaver thousand eyes idol shadow of eyes just a lot of pharaoh's servant epic cards here magic drain burning land ground collapse we got the dark bat Oni Tank, Ruxin, 34. Love to see that guy. We got the Science Soldier and Thousand Eyes Idol. Here's the rest of the Pharaoh Servants. We got the Armored Glass, DNA Surgery, Appropriate, Noble of Extermination. I think all of the Commons and Rares are here, or at least most of them. Uh, maybe not every single one, but it feels like all of them here. So we've got a Pharaoh Servant, which is really cool. Chain of Javelin, Earth Shaker, Eye of Truth, Gradius, and Bombardment Beetle. That's not all for the complete set Commons. We have... Pharaonic Guardian here, Wing Sage Vagos, and this this one has some really amazing ones like Trap Dust Shoot, where's the Metamorphosis Terraforming. There's a ton of awesome low rarity cards in the set. Raigeki Break, the set was just amazing, even without the hollows. Coffin Cellar, Narrow Pass, Royal Tribute, Reversal Quiz, Moisture Creature, Gora, got the Mucus, Mucus Yolk, I should say, Soul Eater. I still don't understand this guy, Living Wonder of Mystery. I mean, how are you supposed to understand a Living Wonder of Mystery? It's a mystery, that's what it is. So that, there's that. Dice Jar is another decent one. King Tiger Wango. This set is so good when it comes to commons and rares. Got our scare up. Man, like almost every card is like pretty decent. Okay, why, oh, wait, another Pharaoh Servant? What? I don't think I was supposed to be in there. Okay, uh, Front and Guardian. <laughs> All right, Metamorphosis, that's going Book of Moon is crazy. The first printing of that one as well. Ordeal is always funny to play with as well. Secret Pass, Teuton, uh, Master Kianchi. Needle Swall, Needle Ceiling. So many good cards in here, man. Like, uh, Gravekeepers. What is this? There's, like, some some stuff for the packaging on here. We got the uh, the Spy. Just all the Gravekeeper cards. Just an absolutely amazing set for commons and rares. And then one more partial set. We have Magic Ruler. So we got Giant Germ, Cyberjar, Karate Man, Flash Assailant, Jigen Bakadun, UFO Turtle, Manga Rai Ran, the regular Rai Ran, the Hungry Burger, the man himself. The Oh, I guess he's not a man. The Burger himself. <laughs> Magical Labyrinth, Eekaboon. House of Adhesive Tape, all of these epic, the Arkansas Razorbacks cards that we have seen many, many times, but they're still so nostalgic and epic to look back on. Upstart Goblin, one of the best comments in this set. Oh, the Dark Witch. We've got Slot Machine. His little brother's in here somewhere. We've got Weather Report. Horn of Light. There's the little brother. There he is. Okay. Peacock, Penguin, Night, Queen, Bird, Liquid Beast. Yeah, this, compared to Pharaonic Guardian, like, it's not even close. Pharaonic Guardian is absolutely amazing compared to this set. Shining Angel, Senju, Iozanru, and Nimble Manga. It'd be fun to do a Magic Ruler versus Pharaonic Guardian duel. And then we get into the big cards. So that's all the smaller stuff. Let's get into the big cards. I don't know the best way to do this. Let's just go like this. We'll go through some at a time. So we have First Edition, Painful Choice, Toon World, The Forceful Century, Toon Summon Skull, a little bit faded there. I think these are all in very good condition. Let's check out the skull just to see how they're looking. So the Toon Summon Skull, you guys can see is sort of an example of the conditions. It's slightly faded, which is really cool. It does have, okay, we got that dot off. Just very near mint to mint condition, which is amazing to see for these old school first edition cards. And you don't see those faded very often, so it's pretty cool to see that. That is an awesome card. We've got ourselves a Mystical Space. I have multiple of these to grade that are like minty, but I just don't want to spend 150. But I'm really considering doing a PSA sub like maybe tomorrow like sending it in because I just want to submit some cards. I know it's expensive now but I just want to. <laughs> Giant grenade. Alright, we got some Pharaoh Servant here. The Chain Destruction Premature Burial Backup Soldier Confiscation Serpent Knight Dragon Secret Rare. We might need to check that out. Ooh, and the Blue Eyes Tune and Relinquish. Let's check these guys out. First, we've got the Serpent Knight Dragon. One of the most epic cards. A dragon created from the soul of a wicked knight. I mean, you gotta love that. That is pretty cool. And look how nice that card looks that is an awesome secret i always thought it was underrated i think the artwork is really good on it it's very simple but it's really cool 
All right, then we have the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. A little bit off-centered on this guy, but this guy looks absolutely awesome. Such an epic. Look at the surfaces. Like, if you see a surface like that, it's just nice. It's just nice. You're like, oh my gosh, that is a card that we can appreciate. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, let's go. Let me know in the comments if you prefer Blue Eyes Toon Dragon or Serpent Knight Dragon. I know it's mostly going to be Toon, but I think there are a few of you guys who really like that Serpent Knight as well. Then we have the one and only Relinquished. I was able to grade this in like one of our most recent PSA videos and get a 10. So that was pretty nice to add that to the collection. But this one looks like it could maybe do pretty well as well. The centering is pretty off. So maybe not getting a 10 though. These other cards we have Maha, um, Malega, Malinquit, Megamorph, Delinquent Duo, Messenger, Wife Pen, and Axe of Despair. Oh, I forgot this was in here. Trihorn Dragon First Edition. Okay, the centering is absolutely horrible on this guy, but I totally forgot about that. Catapult Turtle is also in here. Thousand Dragons in here. Yeah, because I, I agreed to buy these like about a month or two ago, and then I got kind of confused with some other stuff. I forgot these were in here. Thousand Dragon Faded. That looks amazing. Time Wizard Faded. That looks amazing. Seven Tools of the Bandit. We got the Kareeb. Oh my goodness, look how faded this is. By the way, Faded is not considered damage necessarily. Metal Raiders did have a print that was very faded. So there are some cards like this, and it's a natural from the factory. It's pretty cool. So that card looks awesome. Horn of Heaven. B Skull. That is the BPT version. The Imperial Order Secret Rare. We've got a Jinzo here. The centering's pretty off on that, but that's pretty nice. Gear Freed, Grave Digger, Call of the Haunted, Ceasefire, Fairy Meteor, Limited Removal, and Nobleman. That is a, a lot of good guards right there. All right, we got a few more of Mirage of Nightmare. So we got the uh, Pharaonic Guardian. Check out this name on question. It's like almost not there. It's kind of weird. Barrel Behind the Door, Nightmare Wheel. We got the Necro Valley. Very nice card. Sasuke Samurai, the Fushio Rishi. Also, the name is not there, which is pretty strange. Dark Room of Nightmare. Mystical Knight of Jackal, another one. What is going on? And then another Jinzo. This one's actually pretty centered. Let's check this one out. Here we go. We've got another Jinzo. This guy on the front looks very nice. Centering is still a little bit off compared to the other one. It's better. And then the back looks super clean on this Jinzo. It does have a little spot there. It might be able to come off. That is a nice card. Then the last of what we have before we get into some bonuses that were sent. We have Ring of Destruction, Hell Palmer, Lava Golem, Great Dizard, Book of Life, Trap of Border Racer. Ro All the Ultras are like losing their name. It's very weird. Don Zalu, get the Guardian Sphinx, Gravekeeper's Chief, Reaper, and Visor Shock. And then we have, oh yeah, let's just appreciate this Ring of Destruction a little bit. I love that card. And finally, we got some other stuff. Bonus gifts. These were from my friend Kid Collectibles. He sent some stuff as bonuses. We have Genzo, Trap Hole First Edition from LOB. Air Knight First Edition from Legacy of Darkness. The Mystical Knight of Jackal. Sasuke. Man, look at the centering on this Sasuke. Oh my goodness. That's rough. Salamandra. We've got the Seiyaru and the Acid Trap Hole, first which are from the game. Fairy Meteor Crush. Magic Jammer First Edition MRD. Monster Rebo Wait, is this LOB? Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Oh, Asian English. Okay, this is okay. This is Asian English. So I was like, this looks a little bit different than a normal North American. That's why I looked for a Euro and it was Asian English. Spellbinding Circle and a Revival Jam. Talk about an insane hall of cards there let me know in the comments what your favorite card was from this video if you guys want to enter the giveaway if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe for more epic content because we have more awesome purchases as well as openings coming up on this channel as well as some other stuff shout out to tcg trusted cards toe and show tomato juice noah j hawaiian Yu Gi Oh, stanley mike nance mimic gecko duels kingdom cards and spanky mcfarland thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace